Natalie Conrad here with Organized Habits. Do you have some cord chaos going on in your home? If nothing comes to mind, think about underneath your computer desk, all of those wires and things that are strung here and there and everywhere to the router, to the printer, to the scanner, to the monitor. Usually, most of us use a surge protector, something like this, and the cords are all uh, mixed together and you're not sure quite what you're unplugging. Well, here's a free tip for you. Grab some bread ties that you get off of the bread that you use and just add some labels. This one says monitor, scanner, printer. And as you're attaching those cords to your surge protector, just add the bread tie. That way, when you're getting a new printer and you want to just unplug the other one without going through trying to figure out which cord is it, you just have the bread tie there to show you. So very easy to use and simple free solution. What about the other cord mess that we usually have in our homes? Maybe it's in a box in the closet or in one of your drawers. A couple of things to do um, that can help you corral these cords. This is a cord wrap by um, Bobino, the company Bobino. And it's for USB wires and chargers. Many of us have chargers for our phones and our MP3 players. I like using this because when I throw it in a briefcase, a tote, or a purse, it's bright and I can find my charger when I need it. One of my all-time favorite cord wrappers you can find out on the market at Home Depot and Target and places is a simple strip of Velcro that hooks onto your cord and wraps around. There's usually plenty to secure your cord bundle. Speaking of cord bundle, how many things are they going to make with black cords? Oftentimes the item gets separated from its cord somehow and we end up with this miscellaneous drawer of cords that we're afraid to throw away because we might still own the item that it goes to. So the next time you get a new piece of equipment or when you have time to go through your older equipment, grab a label maker and make a label for it and attach it to the cord. That way, if they get separated and you find this cord, you know exactly what it's for. Another free tip and something that I've used for many years to corral my cords is just a simple toilet paper roll or paper towel holder. Let me show you how that works. This is my extension cord that I have here. So you roll it all up and you just stick it into the tube and you've got easy cord management. Now this tube, I've just covered it with some paper. You could use wrapping paper or even duct tape to cover it and disguise uh, the roll. Either way, can you imagine having your box of extension cords looking like this instead of in a big jumble? Well, these are just a few little tips to help you with your cord chaos. Again, this is Natalie Conrad. You can find more tips and information about making room for life by getting organized on my blog at organizedhabits.com.